guys and welcome back to my channel. I am here today to do another tag video but this one was one that was just too good for me to pass up being such a massive fan of the franchise. This is the Saw Trap tag and this was started by Ross from Random Horror Channel. I will link his original video in the description below. Obviously if you do the tag please credit Ross um, in your description or in your video to um, give the tags originator. So Ross is very simply asked for you to tell your favourite trap from each of the Saw movies. So obviously you have to have seen all of the movies to do the tag. Without further ado, let's get on to my favourite Saw traps. So number one, and in the first movie, I just, one of my all time favourite movies. So I even have a picture of this on my wall. I kid you not, I've even brought it to let you see it. My favourite trap in the first Saw movie is the reverse bear trap. Now, the thought of this in its own and the thought of what it would do to your jaw is enough. Um, if you're not a fan of the movies and you haven't seen um, Saw, shame on you for a start, but the reverse bear trap is exactly as it sounds. It's a bear trap type device around a person's head and if they cannot get it off within the allotted time, um, obviously a bear trap snaps open and shut. It will snap open and the person's jaw will be ripped off their face. Lovely. So um, what really freaked me out about this one was the fact that the key to the padlock that attached the trap to her head was in the stomach of someone on the floor, who we initially think is a corpse, but turns out no, the person is not dead. They have just been injected with a paralyzing agent and she must basically kill this poor guy and tunnel into his insides to get the key to free herself. So that's my favorite trap from Saw 1, the reverse bear trap. Okay, so Saw 2. This one's actually very similar um, for a very similar reason. Certain things press certain people's buttons and this just all day long. As a matter of fact, recently when I did a question on Geek Legion of Dooms, would you rather be in one of Saw's traps or be Jabba the Hutt's slave, I think, for five years? This is the trap that I thought of that made me think, no, I have to be a slave much as I wouldn't like to be. This is the death mask from Saw 2. Similar premise to the bear trap in that the device is attached to the individual's head, but the inside front and back of the device is very much designed like an Iron Maiden, which means the inside is full of nails. So rather like a Venus flytrap, snaps shut, back in front, and you're impaled with a load of horrible, nasty nails. Now, that's bad enough. What freaks me out about this, now we go back to having to dig the key out of the guy's stomach in the last trap. In this one, and I couldn't, I will admit to you guys, I could not do this. I would die horribly. The key is embedded behind the victim's eyeball. And when I say the victim, I mean the person that's wearing the trap. He has been knocked out and the key has been surgically implanted behind his eye. They show him the x-ray and he has to gouge his own eyeball out, go behind it to get the key to open the trap. So number two for me is the death mask. Okay, so on to trap number three in Saw 3. I must, I've never asked myself these questions before, so I obviously have specific things that bother me because the one I'm going to pick from Saw 3, again, has a lot of similarities to the first two traps I've chosen and I am going to choose the angel trap in trap three where the girl in question is strapped up to a device, a metal device that is attached to her via like a, a leather corset. There are metal, what looks like metal wings on the back that are folded up. She has brackets attached, I think 12 brackets attached to her ribs and then more brackets to the sides. And as the wings, the device opens, I think she has 60 seconds, as the wings open, Basically, these are attached by a wire to the brackets, which rip out all of her ribs, all of the structure of her ribs. Um, she has got the key, which is in front of her, in a vat of acid. Um, no. The thought of all of my bones in my chest being ripped out in 60 seconds or melting the flesh of my skin off to get... Because even if you put your hand in to get the key, the flesh would start to melt away. Would you be able to actually grip the key? I don't know, but all kinds of gross. So it's the angel trap for me from Saw 3. Okay, so Saw 4. I'm actually going to have to agree with Ross on this one. My favourite trap from Saw 4 is the mausoleum, where we have two men um, both attached to a device in the middle of the room with um, like something like a winch with hooks at either end. 
One man at one side has his eyes sewn shut and the one at the other has got his mouth sewn shut so he cannot communicate but he can see. The gentleman that can't see has got tools on his side that he could possibly use to gain both the man's freedom but he can't see the tools to use them. The man on the other side, although he can see the tools and the possible freedom for both of them, cannot communicate to the man that's eyes are sewn shut. Okay, so five. There are so many different traps that I love in these movies, but the ones that I choose generally are for quite personal reasons because I'm squeamish about certain things. This trap that I'm going to choose, which is the pendulum trap in Saw 5, takes me back to that old pit and pendulum movie, really old movie. You can probably hear my dog's feet, I do apologise. Um, I Just the thought of a pendulum coming down like this and slowly getting lower and lower and you can see it. And this guy is strapped to a table with a pendulum slowly coming down. He has 30 seconds before the pendulum reaches his body and starts to cut and he has 60 seconds before he will be completely sliced in half. How does he stop the pendulum? His hands are attached either side into devices. If he pushes his hands in, it stops the pendulum, but it crushes his hands. So in order to stop the pendulum from eventually reaching him, he must crush both of his hands to oblivion. For me, the whole thing about that pendulum coming slowly down and slicing through your body and you can see it happening, it's not quick. I mean, as barbaric as the reverse bear trap and the, the maiden one would be, they would be quick. This would most cert you'd see everything coming. No, no, no. It's going to be the pendulum trap for me. Okay, so we're on to saw six. And this one is one, again, when I think about saw traps that always comes to mind, it is the pound of flesh. As I watch this, I'm thinking, oh, well, there's two people against each other. He's obviously going to win because he's a big heavy man against a really slim woman. She's got no chance, I thought. Um, and he starts to slice away at, at rather large fatty areas of his body. Not to be outdone, this woman starts hacking off her own arm. They have to, they have a scale and the person that lives is the person who manages to remove the most weight of flesh from their body by the end of the time. Um, this woman's taking her own arm off. I doth my hat to her, but can you imagine having to just take off an appendage? No. Why do I like these movies? Why have I? I'm, I'm sick in the head. There's something clearly not right with me. So I'm going to choose a pound of flesh for my favourite trap from Saw 6. So swiftly on we go to Saw 7 and my choice from Saw 7, there was a lot of traps in this one, is going to be the brazen bull. In this one the lady is attached. She's on a platform. She has a leather like collar around her neck attached with a chain that goes through the platform meaning she can't move from the platform. And in order to free her, her husband must raise himself to the roof via two hooks, which he must hook through his own skin. If I remember right, he puts them through his pectoral muscles. This raises him to the ceiling where he must connect two wires, I believe, or a device together in order to stop what's going to happen to his wife happening. If he doesn't succeed, um, like two shaped walls come up, up either side of the platform that the woman is on. They join in the middle up of her head and like a cylindrical object comes up and seals her completely in and then we have flames from basically making a makeshift oven and she is slowly roasted inside the oven if her husband does not manage to connect these wires. Sick on all, we've got two people being tortured here. I'm, I'm beginning to worry about myself. I'm beginning to think I need some treatment. The the joy that I'm feeling recalling all these traps and, and the ingenuity of them, there has to be something wrong with me, really. Okay, so we're on to Jigsaw. Now, I struggled with this because the traps in this one, I wasn't that keen on. We had the motorbike one, which was quite cool. There was one where um, like leg was cut with wire, a suspended one. One where different members were wearing a bucket in their head, but the, anyway, there's quite a few in that one. It's not, I can't believe I'm going to say this, it's not a particularly good movie. I, I don't care, it's all, I will watch it, but, but I'm going to go for Edgar Munson's test for this one. This is not a trap in the conventional sense of words. This is something that a person is told they have to do to activate a game which involves five players which are locked in a barn, which then we, we cut to them, that's who we're actually following. Um, and this guy has to do something and if he doesn't he will die. 
Now, I don't want to tell you what exactly because it's like, it's like a major, I suppose, plot part of the movie, what happens, who's involved. So I don't want to go into detail, but if you've seen the movie, you will know what Edgar Munson's test is. And I thought that was quite clever. So I'm going to choose that from Jigsaw. And finally, we reached an end with Spiral, which I saw last week at the cinema. Now, while I enjoyed the movie, I didn't think the traps were as strong as in previous movies. I like my traps to be pretty grotesque or very clever. Um, I thought the traps were quite weak in this. I'm not going to go into detail about what exactly the traps are and what you have to do because a lot of people haven't seen the movies. So I'm just going to pick either the trap with the wax, that's all I'll say, or how we actually end the movie. Um, I think the trap might be called the puppet. I'm not entirely sure. Ross did allude to it in his video. I'm not going to say very much, but it's kind of that reveal that we work towards during the actual movie, which I will admit where we were going, who was responsible in the movie was kind of obvious, but I love the ingenuity and how the final trap actually physically looked. I thought it was very impressive. So um, I'm going to pick that final one and I'm also going to give a special mention to the wax trap. So those are my favourite traps from the Saw movies. I obviously need some form of psychiatric help. So those of you like me who enjoy the macabre, I'm going to tag a few of you. I'm going to tag some individuals that I know have seen the movies. If you haven't, like I said, um, if you do want to do it, obviously no pressure. Um, just tell me some favourite ones that you had. Obviously this is Ross's tag or um, just have a read of some of them that they maybe will prompt you to want to watch the movies. First of all, I'm going to tag Man of Movies purely because he has recently watched all of the Saw movies with differing results, but they're very fresh in his mind, so I'm going to choose him. I'm going to choose my good buddy Strange Monkey who is the only other person that gave a really positive review for Spiral that I have seen. I'm going to tag someone I got to know relatively recently called Paul Tams. He's a big Resident Evil game fan and if my memory serves him correctly likes the Saw movies. If I'm wrong I apologise but Paul Tams I'm going to tag you. So I think I'll leave it at that. That's three people I've tagged. If you do the tag, um, it would be awesome if you guys would tag maybe three other people. Um, we'll keep this tag going for Ross. Um, his video will be in the description. Adam, if you haven't already, he's an awesome guy. And thank you for watching my answers to the Saw Traps tag. Over a night from Lisa Loves.